adventurers. Goblins just look up dope. <laughs> the only uh, thing that can make it better is if they were kobolds. Correct, yes. Then we have the combat encounters section. Uh, like the actual how to build it. So two things I want to point out here. For the most part, most of it's what you would expect. They changed the difficulty a little bit. So remember how there were four? There was, uh, what was it? Easy, medium, hard, deadly, right? Yes. Yeah. Now there's low, moderate, high difficulty. That's it. There's three. Uh, and it says, so this is the phrasing they use for the 2024 difficulty of encounters. Obviously, I have a feeling that this is referring to 2024 monsters, which we don't have yet. So these are probably not going to pan out quite yet. But what it says is an encounter of low difficulty is likely to have one or two scary moments for the players, but their character should emerge victorious with no casualties. One or more of them might need to use a healing resource, however. As a rough guideline, a single monster generally represents a low difficulty challenge for a party of four characters whose level equals the monster's CR. In other words, four level one characters could fight one level four monster. That is actually basically already how I ran the game. So good to know I was correct. <laughs> <laughs> moderate difficulty it says absent a healer or other resources an encounter of moderate difficulty could go badly for the adventurer weaker characters might get taken out of the fight and then there's a slim chance one or more characters might die specifically calls out absent a heal absent healing and then a high difficulty encounter could be a lethal one for one or more characters to survive it the characters will need smart tactics quick thinking and maybe even a little luck so high difficulty is lethal. Moderate difficulty is you're going to get fucked up. The only thing is when they say lethal, do they mean dead, dead or down? Do you know? Yeah, I mean, they, they say dead. They say lethal. Yeah. A high difficulty encounter could be lethal for one or more characters to survive it. The characters will need smart tactics, quick thinking, and maybe even a little luck. I don't know. They, they, they went from three to four, and then it seems like they adjusted how they think they should go. So I thought that was interesting. And then also the XP budget system is significantly easier. Significantly easier. How so? Every creature has a XP value in its stat block. When you add a creature to your combat encounter, deduct its XP from your bu XP budget to determine how much XP you have left to spend. Spend as much of your XP as you can without going over. It's okay if you have a few unspent left ex XP left over. And the way you determine your budget, I should have read that first, but I should have read this one first, but whatever. Using XP budget per, uh, using the XP budget per character table, cross-reference the party's level, with the desired encounter difficulty. Multiply the number in the table by the number of characters in the party to get your budget. So if you want a low level combat for four level one players, the difficulty at low is 50. So you do 50 times four. So the example it gives a low difficulty encounter for four level one would be 200 XP total. With that, you could build any encounter with the following one bugbear warrior, two giant wasps or six twig blights. Significantly easier math. Yeah, seriously. Because before it had you like build the encounter and then you had to do like, I forget exactly how it works, but a, a multiplication or something like that to. Oh God, how did it even work? It was like you had to multiply it based on how many monsters there were present because more monsters means like it's more dangerous even if they're not necessarily that higher of a CR or whatever. It was just, it's just a significantly easier one they've, they've whipped up now. Granted, this, this new one could be shit and not work very well. I don't know, but the math is a lot easier. I wonder, I, I kind of hope that this is what they use at the Wizards in-house game. Could be, could be. Because they always talked about having a different bespoke system than what we get. True, true. 
Uh, it says, uh, if you have many creatures, the more creatures in an encounter, the higher the risk that a lucky streak on their part could deal more damage to the characters than you expect. 